So today, first I have a question for you. Do you want to understand and know the secret to getting more shippers as a freight broker or freight agent? Well, of course you do. Everybody wants to know the secret or the hack, right? Everybody wants to know that. I get that question all the time, all right? So today I'm gonna share with you my favorite freight broker sales hack to help you get more shippers as a freight broker or freight agent. Here's what the hack is not. It's not about some special cold calling script or about cold emailing or about LinkedIn or about how to overcome objections or any of that. It's not, nothing to do with that. What it has to do with is very simple. And if you've listened to me before, you've heard this. You have to be different. You need to be different than your competitors. You need to be different than every other freight broker out there. Now, I say this quite often, and the next question everybody says is, how can I be different? How am I gonna be able to be different? Well, today, I'm gonna share with you three ways, three different ways that you can be different and that you need to be different if you wanna differentiate yourself from the competition. What you have to understand, there's an old saying, different is better than better. You've heard me say this before. I didn't come up with this, but I'm a huge believer and I think it really helps people to hit home on the importance of doing this. So different is better than better. What it means is this, it's better to be different than to try to be better at everything. So as a freight broker, it's hard to be better at rates and better at capacity and better at technology and better at communications and better at uh, customer service. It's hard to be better than everybody in all of those things. But what it's not hard to do is be different. What shippers are looking for, they think they're looking for better, but in reality, what stands out from the crowd is different. So I'm gonna share with you three different ways that you can be different to stand out from the crowd, all right? Number one is to get known and position yourself as an expert in your niche. So think about it. Buyers don't like to talk to salespeople but they enjoy talking to experts. Everybody wants to talk to an expert. Nobody wants to talk to a salesperson. You need to become known as an expert in your niche. Now, I'm gonna give you a few different ways you can do that. You need to position yourself as an expert in your niche. Now, here's, how, here's a couple different ways you can do it. You can, you can start writing a blog where you talk about topics, conversations, challenges, issues, and news related to your niche. So you become the source of information that can come in the form of a blog, a video, articles that you write for uh, other websites in your niche. That could come from adding and joining and adding to the conversation that other people in your niche are having on social media. For example, on LinkedIn, if there's someone that's an expert in your niche and you want to add to that conversation, then you can comment and add something meaningful to that conversation on LinkedIn. The same thing goes for anything related to that industry. If there's an industry specific conversation, if there's a product specific conversation, if there's a company specific conversation, if there's a challenge related specific conversation, you can add yourself to that conversation and you can start positioning yourself that way. So one of the best ways to differentiate yourself is to become known as an expert. And those are just a few ways you can do it. Blog, video, podcast is another one, right? I've had multiple podcasts, the Growth Experts podcast, my Freight Booker Bootcamp audio experience. I do what I preach, right? I don't, I don't tell you one thing and then do other things. I have a YouTube channel. I've got a blog. I've got a podcast, right? I've written for publications. I join the conversation on LinkedIn. These are all things that I do. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, be more educated. Become more educated than the competition. Now, what do I mean by that? I don't mean you going back to school and get your bachelor's degree or your master's degree or your PhD. That's not what I'm talking about. Matter of fact, it's the exact opposite. What I want you to become educated on is your niche. Industries that are in your niche, the companies that you're going after and become educated on the prospects themselves, the individuals, like the shipping managers, logistics managers, 
traffic managers. Okay. What I want you to understand is it's not the person with the perfect sales script. It's not the most charismatic salesperson. It's not the funniest salesperson. It's not the hardest working salesperson. It's not the person that makes 200 phone calls a day. That's not what drives success as a freight broker in 2023 and beyond. You have to be more educated. Now, you can educate yourself about the industry by, you know, reading or watching niche related content right? Niche-related trade journals and magazines and blogs and YouTube channels. So you can educate yourself on your niche and your industry that way. You can also educate yourself on the company by gathering sales intelligence through the company website, through Google, through LinkedIn. So those are great places to go and gather sales intelligence. And again, sales intelligence is some piece of data that helps you to enhance the opportunity to get the sale, okay? So that's another way you can become more educated. And number three, you can use LinkedIn and other social media networks to gather sales intelligence on your prospect. Now, just imagine if you went to their LinkedIn profile and you knew how long they had worked for the company, where they worked previous, where they, the city and state they live in, the college that they went to, some of the content that they've recently posted or engaged with. Imagine having access to all that information before you make the call. Now imagine that you were able to find them on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or something along those lines on another social channel, and they're talking about their favorite sport, whether that be MMA, whether that be football or baseball or soccer, whatever that is. Imagine the value of having that type of information about your prospect before you make the call, right? It's almost like having a hot knife go through butter the conversation is going to be very, very different. Okay. So that was number two. And number three, you have to sound different. You have to sound different than everybody else that's calling your prospects. Now, how do you go about doing that? Number one, you have to come up with a compelling sales hook or multiple sales hooks. No more being boring and generic. Hi, my name's Joe. I'd love to see if we could quote some of your freight lanes. Boring, dull, uncompelling, not compelling in any way, shape, or form, and you sound like everybody else. Or the old classic, hey, Joe, this is Dennis. I've got some trucks in your area. I was wondering if we might be able to um, move some of your loads. Boring, terrible, miserable. Nobody wants to hear it. Stop saying it. It's stupid, okay? So what you want to do is you want to create a compelling sales hook. A compelling sales hook is something that's highly relevant and contextual to your prospect. Let me give you an example. Let's say, for example, your niche is the steel industry or is, involves the steel industry specifically. And the government, the U.S. government, just put some new legislation in place that's going to significantly impact the steel industry. Now, I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter. The government comes up with new stupid rules all the time. I think you'd agree. But let's say they come up with some new legislation that's going to have a significant impact, positive or negative, some sort of impact on the steel industry. And you know that information because you've gathered your sales intelligence. Imagine formulating a question or an opening around that. So for example, it might be, Hey, Joe, my name is Dennis Brown. I came across you on LinkedIn. I really wanted to chat with you very quick. I noticed the new re legislation that the government just passed that's going to have a huge impact on the steel industry related to ABC. I was curious, how do you guys see that impacting your business? Do you see how that's different? Do you see how that's relevant? Do you see how that creates a two-way dialogue? Do you see how that differentiates me from every other schmuck that's out there just smiling and dialing and using some crap cold calling script? It's huge. That's a simple example on how to create a compelling sales hook. Now, I'm mentioning this to you because I'm about to open enrollment in my Freight Broker Sales Accelerator program. And I'm really excited because last year I put over 500 people through that program. That's where I take this piece of my brain. I work with you for five weeks and I coach you and become your mentor. And I teach you everything I know about freight broker sales, systems, tools, everything from A to Z, everything that I used 
to generate over $200 million as a freight broker. Now that program is going to open up very soon, but it's limited spots. So here's what I'm going to tell you. I'll put a, I'll put something up on the screen here where you can join the wait list. Okay. So there's a wait list to be in, to start getting enrolled. As soon as I open up enrollment here, probably in the next week, you'll get notified and you'll have a first access, first dibs, first opportunity to learn all the details about that program and get enrolled. Now it's not a free program, but I can tell you, you know, you'll make it 10, 20, 30 times or more your investment if you deploy what I teach you and share with you during this freight broker sales accelerator program. So I highly recommend you get on the wait list. Okay. That's my freight broker sales accelerator program. Again, put over 500 people through it. Just so you know, we have a, an exit survey for everybody who completes the program. And so far out of over 500 people that have taken the program, the survey, people that have been surveyed have come back with a 9.2 out of 10 rating, 9.2 out of 10. I would have been happy with a seven ecstatic with an eight, but they turned out it's a 9.2. It's the best program I've ever put together by far. Um, and it's going to be opening up for enrollment very, very soon. So check that out at the link below, freightburgerbootcamp.com forward slash waitlist. Okay. Freightburgerbootcamp.com forward slash waitlist. All right, cool. So back to the training. So the second part of sounding different is asking better questions. This always blows my mind when people ask irrelevant, dumb, or generic, boring questions. There's nothing better to put your prospects to sleep or for them to want to hang up the phone than to ask them dumb or irrelevant or boring questions. You need to ask better questions. Now, here's a couple of questions that you need to stop asking if you're doing this. What kind of products do you ship? Mm. Wrong. That tells your prospect that you don't care about their comp doing business with their company because you didn't care enough to take time to look at what their business does. Number two, tell me about your business. He's not there to tell you about his business. He doesn't have time to educate you about their business. All right. That's your job on your time. All right. So here's an example of a better question, right? Um, so for example, many people I've talked to in the steel industry tell me that X is a growing issue. How's that impacted you and your business? Do you see how that's different? Do you see how that's relevant? Do you see how that's contextual? That's important to them. That's something that they're facing. If you've gathered your sales intelligence and you understand some of the challenges and information that's going on inside your niche, like I talked about in number one, by becoming an expert, number two, gathering sales intelligence, using that information to come up with interesting and compelling sales hooks and questions is one of the best ways to differentiate yourself and to stand out from the crowd. Okay? So... Those are my three that are directly related back on how to be different, right? The importance of being different. Different is better than better. So I hope you enjoyed those regardless of where you're at. If you're curious about my Freight Broker Sales Accelerator program, go to freightbrokersbootcamp.com forward slash waitlist. You can sign up for the waitlist. That's more of an advanced sales training program that teaches you everything I know about how to get shippers, including my entire Freight Broker Sales system. If you're curious about becoming a freight broker and you're just looking for startup advice and a system to help you go from, you know, from no, not knowing what a freight broker is to launching your freight brokerage and starting to get your first few customers, check out freightbrokerbootcamp.com. We've been in business over a decade, trained over 10,000 students, and we have a 60 day, 100% unconditional money back guarantee. So check that out at freightbrokerbootcamp.com.